Our question says it wants us to discuss the similarities and differences in the way the hydrogen atom is pictured in Bohr's model versus in uh, quantum mechanics. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about them, and then I will write out a summary. Um, so Bohr successfully explained the stability of an atom in line spectrum, but it only applied to the hydrogen atom with one electron and one proton. The Bohr's model has an atom consisting of a small, positively charged nucle nucleus orbited by negatively charged electrons. In the Bohr's model, the electron is dealt with as a molecule with no wave-like properties, so the quantized condition is forced without physical premise. However, the model also uses solitary quantum number n as opposed to the multiple quantum numbers that are used in quantum mechanics. This n value quantizes the uh, vitality of the electron's orbit. The electron is dealt with non-relativistically, and the area of the electron is thought to be known absolutely. In quantum mechanics, the electron's wave-like properties are considered from the uh, beginning, which actually promotes uh, and prompts quantization vitality levels, and to the translation of the electron's wave uh, is working to give a likelihood of finding the electron in a specific area. So you don't know exactly where the electron is, you can only talk about where the electron is probably at. So quantum mechanics introduces three more quantum numbers um, that deal with the orbital angular momentum, uh, the components of the orbital angular momentum along the electro uh, external magnetic field, and the direction of the electron spin. So these quantum numbers permit a, a significantly more exact portrayal of the vitality levels of the hydrogen atom than those that are conceived by the Bohr's model. So to kind of summarize what I'm saying here, let's go ahead and say, here are the similarities. Here's how they are similar. Let's go ahead and uh, underline this. So similar. For one, uh, quantization, there's quantization. In both cases, there's quantization. One of them is assumed a priori that's in the Bohr model because it's just particles. So of course, a particle is quantized. You can only have one. Um, and it can only exist in certain states, which are these orbital levels. And this was just Bohr saying, this is what we observe in nature. So we're going to force our model to be this way, where the quantization in uh, quantum mechanics isn't assumed a priori. Actually, quantization in quantum mechanics comes naturally out of quantum mechanics. And the reason quantization happens in quantum mechanics is because you are trapping a wave. If you trap a wave and that wave has certain properties, it's only allowed to exist in certain states. Those are quantized states. So both have quantization. Number two, the electron, in, in both cases, the electrons orbit a positively charged nucleus. All right, so now how are they different? So we'll just dis dis uh, discuss a little summary of a couple of the ways that they're different. So let's start out with Bohr. So the Bohr model, one, there are no wave properties. Two, quantization comes from observation. And the only quantum number is in, okay? And then three, let's say the position of the electron can be known absolutely. All right, and then now let's discuss quantum mechanics model. We'll just say QM model for quantum mechanics. One, wave properties are considered. Two, quantization comes naturally out of these wave properties. 
and there are three more quantum numbers. Again, these quantum numbers are, uh, we call them um, L, well, I'll write them out here, L, comma, M sub L, comma, and M sub S. I had to write them out because I can't do subscripts with the typing. So L, M sub L, and M sub S, where again, these are the quantization orbital angular momentum, the components of the electron's orbital angular momentum along the external magnetic field, and the direction of the electron's spin, respectively. That's what those three stand for. Um, and uh, lastly, there's one more thing that we can consider. Um, let's get back to the typing tool. Okay, so the last one is four, and this one is the position of the electron can only be spoken of probabilistically. And that would be the answer to our question.